what's going on guys and welcome back to your 20th google group extension tutorial i guess and in this tutorial as well we'll be continuing uh, what we developed in the last few tutorials that is our twitter notifier extension so i have a couple of changes to inform you <coughs> and i had some silly mistakes from the code from the last tutorial and let's fix them out quickly so one thing i need to do is to replace all these ID with IDs this is basically an IDs not ID the next thing this should be I and I just notice all these things while debugging my code and uh, this should also be J not I so we are done with the errors and let's get started now so for testing purpose I set up another dummy account and obviously my own account to work with Twitter and oops. <coughs> and this is my notification area and in the extension let's open the background.html page let's quickly add some code to work with so we have got if latest ID is equal to IDs then no update no problem if latest ID is undefined then we'll see this later why later why not now let's create a kind of notification for that and this actually means that this feeds that first run browser session that means the browser is uh, opened by the user just now so what we'll do is we'll just make it type basic and title would be Twitter notifier and the message should be you may like to check your <coughs> Twitter account for latest updates or maybe notifications an icon should be same now let's just uh, name the variable first run instead of options so it looks kind of more meaningful alright so now again one thing we need to do is to set latest IDs uh, to the IDs 0 so that once this is uh, running and uh, this is run then the latest ID is updated to the latest tweet ID and then we can actually make our function work so the next thing we need to do is I'll just copy all this code and create a new function and I'm doing this because we need to use set interval which is a kind of loop a time based loop which would um, run every let's say two seconds for now for debugging purpose but we'll slow down this on the production extension let's okay so yeah one more thing we need to do here in the loop is that this should be j is less than or equal to id's dot length and we'll say that if um, latest id is equal to id's j then what we want to do is we'd like to break out of the loop that means we have encountered with our <coughs> the message ID we had saved previously so okay so let's reload this and that was just my previous work which I was doing with extension so now let's look at that again ID zeros and everything looks good and now let's just console log some information console log First of all, I would like to have the latest ID, then maybe new tweets. Let's check this out both. Let's location.reload and I guess in the background.html I am still using test.js on which I tested my code. So let's reload it again. And alright, here we begin with our first notification and the latest tweet is uh, the ID of latest tweet is this one and the notification and new tweets is a empty array 
as expected. So let's do some activities here. I'll just uh, favorite this tweet from another account. So let's see what happens. So now the ID changed and we got a new um, new tweet inserted in the array. But I want this to flash out each time this code is run. So what I'll do is I'll just change the scope of uh, the new uh, new tweets from global to the function engine, and this would just reinitialize it every time to a blank array whenever this uh, function is called. And I'll just call it um, at the starting so that we don't have to wait the first two seconds to run it. Let's reload this. All right. No activity so far and so forth. Let's untweet this and now okay so we got some tweets because um, since this ID was not found this ID right here because of uh, untweeting my tweet therefore it showed all of the tweets because the loop ran all over the tweets so we'll see how I'll fix that but for now I'll just tweet it again and now let's see what happens and okay we got this one and as expected in the next one we got an empty array so we want to do something with this with this thing right here so let's see what we can do so we have got new tweets uh, inserted and actually you could restrict it to only the first tweet if you are kind of more specific but I'll just make it with all the new tweets because we would be supplying a longer duration of set interval so there could be like seven to eight new tweets per minute or per two minutes or three minutes or whatever we will be setting in for some popular account alright so what we need to do is the next is is to get somehow the link the link to this URL uh, attached to our notification box showing up the new tweet so what we can do is I'll just copy this code again here and I'll say if new tweets dot length is equal to zero that means the array is empty and that means there are no new tweets then nothing else for i equals zero traditional looping i is less than r equal to new tweets dot length or maybe this should be just less than and here i guess uh, yeah this should also be just less than so we'll just increment i every time and what we want to do is I want to create my my tweet uh, title as new notification and the message as the message should be new tweets i so what we are doing here is we are simply creating a for loop which would check if the length of the new tweets is not zero then it would run unless the all the elements inside the array are covered and we'll be displaying the pop-up of each of those with the help of Chrome notifications create API so let's see how it works so let's just uh, not disable this I'll just uh, untweet this one let's enable this and let's reload this and why not check out the background one so we have got our first notification and I'll just close this so I've reload this and we have got our first run notification let's close this and I'll just do a favorite and let's see if it works
all right so we got new notification mayhul favorited your tweet so this kind of looks uh, more comfortable to the user and what we can do next is that whenever user clicks on this then user is automatically redirected to his twitter account uh, this page right here with all the notifications and if I say increase it to let's say 10 seconds or maybe 20 seconds let's see and reload this and let's try to do a bunch of things so I'll just retweet this I'll favorite this I'll reply to myself what's up buddy and we have got a bunch of notifications ready and 20 seconds are about to get over so let's see what we can do uh, we what we got and got and the first one is a blank one let's check why this was blank in the background.html page so we need some basic information to console off and console log um, this should be new tweets and console log uh, latest ID okay so obviously I would not like to update this every 20 seconds now alright I guess we got something there two notifications no problem for the immediate pop-ups alright so we are getting absolutely fine here and if I drop it to 7 seconds per notification so we'll have to wait 7 seconds for the notification and let's just do some activities now after the next notification alright I favorited this and this does not change because in the notification section we'll get Mehul favorited your tweets instead of just a single tweet I'll just uh, reply won't work with here or will it let's check this out if I do WhatsApp here and tweet it to myself let's see if there's any change in the notification yes there is but we don't get any notification right here and oh should be here actually and the reason is that the title title right here is blank so what we can do is we can just simply trim out every empty element in this array so let's get back to work so we have got our new new to its array ready by this loop so what I can do is I'll just create another if statement if messages I uh, messages J is equal to is not equal to this then only add this element otherwise don't so let's reload this and this should possibly fix our problem by now uh, let's just drop it to 20 seconds again reload and it's time to work so let's get back the first notification and uh, come on come on so I guess we have to miss our first um, set interval loop okay so we now have 20 seconds in hand let's do some stuff let's retweet this and let's favorite this let's see 
Alright, so we have got my whole favorite video tweets as a notification and right here as well. And right here, so I have got my whole favorite video tweet and not this one because in the retweet we don't have any header. Alright, so that's our maybe third or fourth part of this tutorial and I like to end it here and in the next part finally we would be ending up with this extension and we would be fixing some of the minor errors as well so stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then